Hi guys and welcome back to Amelia Tutorials. So with one of our most recent updates we released a new option which is adding multiple locations for your employees. So now your customers can choose where they're coming, your employees can be assigned to several locations where they work and uh, your customers can basically book the appointment at a certain place and time and your employee will be there. But before Sala shows us how you can do this and how to set up uh, several locations for your employees, make sure to check out our website because Black Friday came a bit early for us and the deal is already up on our website. So if you want to grab any licenses, uh, go check it out. Now let's just dive right into the new feature in the video. Okay. <clears throat> now, multiple locations uh, has been a feature of Amelia for quite some time. And what you need to know is that each employee needs to have a default location. So if you have multiple locations added here, these locations will show up in the employee's profile. These are, so once you have uh, multiple locations, one location is mandatory as a default location for the employee. However, in the working hours of the employee, you can configure different working periods. For example, this employee works from nine, until 12 uh, on all services that he's assigned to in Brooklyn. So now you save that. Another option, uh, not another option, but um, another period of time would be that this employee works from 12 to three in another location. This has been Amelia up till now, but at this time you can simply delete this and allow your customers to choose any time between nine and 3 p.m and just assign the employee to multiple locations right here. So when you save this, the employee will be assigned to both locations at the same time. Of course, you need to uh, actually consider if there's a physical distance between two locations. So if the employee is supposed to get from Brooklyn to Queens and vice versa, uh, without any buffer times implemented in the services section right here, the employee won't have the time to reach the second location. So keep this in mind. So if you want to add buffer time after the, the service, you can add it right here. And again, uh, going back to one of the previous videos, these uh, increments here depend on the default time slot step, which is configured in Amelia's general settings. So we won't be applying any buffer time. We'll just show you how this works in the front end. Um, again, this, this employee is assigned to multiple locations. So if you select beard trim and select Brooklyn and you select gym, continue and book an appointment for 10th November. And let's say, uh, Jane Doe, even though this is a beard trim, let's not use Jane, so John Doe. And, uh, let's set up a test email, continue and that's it. Now, when we click on finish, the appointment will be booked and you will be able to see it in the back end for November 10th. So here it is, beard trim with Jim Parsons. And now let's continue with beard trim and Jim Parsons, but we will not select the location. So just to show you that uh, the location was booked at 9 a.m. So this time slot is closed for both locations. Mm -hmm. If the service has a maximum capacity of more than one and you allow multiple people to book the same appointment, the same time slot would appear here, but only for the location that was already booked. So let's just quickly increase the maximum capacity to 10 and save this and update for all. So now when we refresh, the page and we select beard trim employee and queens uh, we will not be adding any new people so again this is a different location queens so this the first time slot is unavailable but if we select brooklyn and click on continue this time slot is again available so the the booked location will remain open if the maximum capacity of the service is above one uh, but it will block the times on all other locations the employee is assigned to in this specific time period in his working hours. Great. 
Thank you, Alexander. You're welcome. And thank you guys for watching. This is great and you can still make all sorts of combinations, whether you want to have a period of time where they're working at multiple locations and add a different period with just one single location. You can play around with it. Let us know how you like this feature in the comments or if you have any other questions or suggestions, also leave those down below in the comments. Uh, check out our website. Don't forget to use the Black Friday offer that is going on. And while you're there doing all those stuff, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.